hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video we are going to see plotting the cat file through core engine console okay we'll go through the video as per i explained on last time you know how we will set up the two file one is batch file and the second one is script file here i already made a script file named plot a1 if you open there you can see some scoring by step by step what are the things we are happening set the plotting so this portion it is for the ctb so you can rename which are the ctb you want i am keeping monochrome but you can use the ctb what you'd like to keep and the sheet size i didn't set to a1 it was still a3 so i am renaming the size to cover the a1 size Okay, this is I am using for the model format file and the settings is landscape and this two settings like center to the plot or whatever it is extends. There are many options. I am using the extend option. Okay, now we will see our batch file. I think last week also I explained about how we will set up the batch file uh, to read the AutoCAD plus uh, the read the script from the defined path. I here I added one more line to rename the file. Uh, you know when you generally plotting, you may be end up with the file name plus the model. And if you using layout, there is a chance to be and with the layout name so here I made a file this I not made from my side I downloaded from internet and I just modify to use for myself like where I getting the usage there are some code to be edited you can see like this last portion it is giving a message like once the plotting is completed so there you can write whatever you want to see once the plotting is completed here that uh, dash model so the end of the file we having that dash model so the dash model I am replacing with none that's why we are keeping only double quotes okay now we'll see how many cat files are here it is about 100 files and these are very simple files without any details inside just a frame and maybe one reference number now I start plotting now you can see some codes are running uh, through the command line and if you want to see the details you can just click on insert and post you can see like what are the things are asking for the plotting and what are the commands we are written over there one by one step you can read it and you will get a clear idea how the codes are working some extra codes are there maybe you can remove it and try on your codes and you can format it now it's running and you can see under the PDF the number of files are increasing it will do the automatic floating if you have hundred or more than that file so it will take some time and plot one by one file with the settings you are given in the script like the ctb and all other things i hope everyone like this video if you like my video press the like button and if somebody not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel also don't forget to press the bell icon it will give a instant notification when i am loading a new file see you soon